Hey, I finally did it. I freed myself from the shackles of big print. Well, sort of. But before we get to that, I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers. The new ones and the old ones. It's really nice to see that people enjoy following this madness. As you saw in my last video, I butchered the print nozzle of my SV08 in the attempt to fit a aftermarket off-the-shelf Elgu nozzle. The success was questionable at best. I thought I would give the nozzle another shot and try to set it up with the calibration settings, right? So I ran the, what is it, surface, oh no, the flow rate, the flow rate settings, because I thought it hmm, might have something to do with the flow rate. But yeah, um, that's, that, that's not, not good. So I thought, ah, crap. Give it one more shot, something relatively simple. So I tried the pressure advanced. Um, unless you're in the business of printing chicken wire, this is not what you want to see. Okay. Fuck. So I took off the nozzle and investigated further. Didn't unload the filament. I just took the nozzle off, snipped the filament underneath the heatsink in order to see what's what. And this is what it looked like. As you can see, it was all gunked up. Uh, it appeared that the filament came out the side of the heating block, out of the, um, out of those holes. And it also ruined my temperature sensor. Yep, it did that. However, in order to see why there is filament coming out of those holes, I needed to make sure that the entire heating block is clean. Took the nozzle off and then naturally throw the heating block in the fire. Yep, to burn off all the excess plastic. I know the environment and shit, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. I couldn't see visually that there is a penetration let me show you what I mean. This is a new nozzle. Come on. These holes on the side, you can visually not see that there is a connection to the inside of the nozzle. On my butchered hot end, if you would blow in and close the other end, air would come out of here. So clearly when I cut the thread into that copper into that brass block, um yeah, I nicked something there. Not good. So how do we fix that now? My first idea was I wrapped some tef Teflon tape, like you use it on pipes, around the threads of the Elgu nozzle. Because it is heat resistant and it gave me the chance of sealing this top surface a little bit better. Yeah, with that wrapped around the nozzle and hopefully it would seal a little bit better. I went straight for the Banshee. Printed the Banshee. But as you can see, rather poorly. Started out okay and then under extrusion everywhere. But at least it finished. Bad adhesion was good. Um, yeah. So off the printer nozzle came again. Can you see that little white thing in there? Exactly. That's the Teflon tape. It wedged itself in there and together with the PLA that seeped everywhere afterwards, it clogged up the nozzle quite nicely. Well, fuck again. But it printed a full Banshee. So I guess I was somewhat on the right track. Somewhat. A new tool needed to be acquired. I got myself a six millimeter milling bit. I went back into the garage, made sure that the bottom end of that, of the brass inside is flat so that it seals appropriately to the flat part of this elbow nozzle. 
and then the hole was too deep. So I had to file down this surface to make sure that the ceiling surface here makes contact inside. And I put it all back together and back on the printer it went. Yeah, what can I say? It fucking worked! There it is. Benchy with the home brew nozzle. The Elgo stainless steel nozzle in the hot end of a SV08. Not perfect. Has like a little bullshit here and some nonsense there in the front. But it printed a full Benchy. Acceptable quality. Coolio. I have to admit, with the brand new nozzle, this one, I did set up the printer appropriately to my actual filament. It's really worth doing. So I went through the whole Orca Slicer calibration procedure and that helped a lot. But yeah, it printed a Banshee. So far so good. Then I put it through the ringer. Not that it fails after like an hour or so. So I tried something else. I printed the topographical map of Alaska. Roughly two and a half hours. There is some stringing. Surface adhesion was good. All nice. It printed. Absolutely acceptable. Not to say actually quite great. Now we need to check out that nozzle. How does it come off the printer? Because I will swap back to the original nozzle for several reasons. I don't want to fuck up my new temperature sensor like I did the old one because fixing it with tape that, that doesn't work. Yeah. Let's take it apart and see what we got. Okay, here we got the nozzle. You can see there's the hole. No filament came out. And I will show you why. There was a little trick I had to do. But also the temperature probe is now on the wrong side and it's just like wedged in here. And I don't really, yeah, I don't want to run the printer that way. So let's take that out so that Without that, we can't do anything. We need that. And here you can, there you go, came off. And here you can see what I did to definitely close those holes. Electrical soldering tin. Let's take the nozzle out. See what she does. We're not gonna use this. Again, it was just to see if it works. I will find a better solution here. Hmm. Comes out relatively easy. Yep. No seepage. If you can see, I knocked that off quite a bit. If I put that next to the original one, there is quite a bit missing. And then there is something else that I noticed. This top hole here, if you have a not completely fuckered up nozzle, it's actually threaded and this bolt which holds on the heatsink fits. I don't know what the size is. I suppose it is M2 because M3 does not fit. What's the conclusion here? Can it be done to run aftermarket nozzles on a SV08? Yes, it can be done. Should you do a hack job like I did? I would not recommend that. Besides, the melting temperature of this soldering stuff is like 188 degrees Celsius. And if you consider that you're, that you're printing PLA somewhere between 220 and 230 and the thing heats up to 250 for cleaning, that might not be your best choice. And if anyone is interested, I actually found on the internet a company that makes a adapter block for the SV08. I'm gonna put the uh, link in the description below. There is no affiliation with them. I haven't tried them out. 
I don't know if it works, but it seems to be legit. Uh, I was going to order one because the piece itself is only 30 dollars, 30 Canadian dollars, but uh, international shipping is then another 24 dollars. Might still be worth it, but I was not willing to pay that at the moment. I will try another solution and I will report back on that when it's done. If you want to give this a crack yourself and you have an old nozzle lying around, um, my angle of approach would be the following. I would prefer to have a drill press, then I would find myself a screw that fits that top hole, lock type that in, let it set, trim it flush. I don't know if you have to close the bottom hole, there was air coming out of it, but if your nozzle is seated properly in the top, shouldn't be an issue. So I would leave that alone for now. Then I would give, get myself one of these 5mm milling bits. Did I say 6mm before? It's 5mm. 5mm milling bits. Put that in the drill press. Set my depth gauge. Mill the bottom flush. Measure it with a caliper. Make sure that I have appropriate depth to make contact with my nozzle, whichever you choose. I would suggest the elbow ones, lengthwise, they fit. Put it in and then take it for a spin. Should work. That's all I got for today. See you next time.